Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Tonight doing a special little memorial video regarding Dean Ripa who was lost yesterday and it's all over the news what happened and he passed away yesterday. If you don't know who Dean Ripa was, he was an author, an artist, a singer, and a pioneer in the reptile world. He specialized in venomous, particularly with Bushmasters. He was born in 1957 in Wilmington, North Carolina, where he ran a beautiful serpentarium called Cape Fear Serpentarium, where he had a salty, let's see, he had a giant alligator snapper and a beautiful collection of venomous. Dean Ripa was a herper who was envenomated for the first time at the age of 13. It actually hospitalized him for a few weeks, and by 15, he was keeping hots secretly in his parents' attic from what I have read, although I don't know if that's true or not. He was pretty wild. He went out and did a lot of things in the field, traveled five continents, bringing animals in, studying different species of reptiles. He actually survived 12 envenomations, several of which were by Bushmasters. I think he has survived the most Bushmaster bites on record. I would not recommend getting bitten by a Bushmaster, so if you haven't done it yet, try not to do it. He was the first to observe Bushmasters breeding and observed some very unique behaviors that they had and some actual unique mating rituals and also saw the mothers nurture the offspring and incubate the eggs very carefully oh. which a lot of venomous do not do he was the first to reproduce two species of bushmaster in captivity and in the field captured king cobras several species of bushmasters lance heads spinning cobras gaboons and rhino vipers Dean Ripa was an important man in the reptile world and I don't know what happened between he and his wife at the end but it is a loss to the community. He was an amazing man and he will be missed. So rip to Dean Ripa. Shout out to all of you guys who were friends with him and the world will be one less herper without Mr. Ripa. So if you have not been to Cape Fear Serpentarium, I would recommend it. I would imagine that it's going to stay open and that someone else will take it over because it's a brilliant, beautiful facility. And if you have any questions about what happened yesterday, there are tons of stories on the news. Just check that out. And more than looking into his death though, let's celebrate his life. This was in commemoration of Dean Ripa. Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you next time.